This video is about the provider logins. To find it, go to Configuration, Practice, and Logins. And this is where you control who is allowed to log into the system at your office. And here we can create a new login. So let's do that. And we'll go ahead and type this in. Okay, so I created their login name, here's their first name, and their email address, and then you click OK. And next is to create a strong password, where you should have some upper and lower case letters, and some numbers or special characters, and the system will tell you uh, if it's strong enough or not. Okay, and they match, it's strong, so we're good, and click OK. And then here is the new login right at the top. And if you click it, this is where you can change the role. Here's the time zone. Uh, the front office role has uh, very limited access, as does a kiosk or an employee physician. Uh, the people with all of the access would be the physicians and the office manager. So let's make this person an office manager. And then if you need to associate a physician ID, you would click that here and if it was a kiosk here's where you would type in a message at the top of the kiosk they call that a kiosk banner and then when you're finished click Save and here's also where you could change their password or deactivate them if they're no longer employed there and then this button if you reset the IP address that'll reset it for your office and that's rarely used so then at the top there's a button to set the office code and this is where the name of your office that appears with the username and the password if you would change this then everyone in the office would have to use what you've changed it to and some people would like to know if your office can have everybody using the same login and no that's not recommended each person must have their own login and their own email address or it's a HIPAA violation now if you have a kiosk set up then you can set the timing right here for how much time you give it to be able to scan the barcode this is 700 milliseconds which means that's less than one second. 1,000 milliseconds would be one second. 10,000 milliseconds would be 10 seconds. And if you'd like to change that, you type in the new number here and then click Save. And let's see, over here in the upper left, there is a print button. So you can actually print all of the logins for your office. The CSV button means that you can save all of your login information as a comma separated value file and put it into a spreadsheet like Excel if you like. For more information on both of those, please read the help page which you can access right here with the question mark button and that's all there is to it